Hey guys, in today's to be to go video, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the pitcher that we use to mix Magnus's blends um, that he eats four times a day. So usually I'll just mix the entire pitcher's worth because he only has one pitcher's worth in a day and keep it stored in the pitcher in between feeds until I'm ready to pour out one bottle's worth. So. The pitcher is very simple to assemble and I will show you just how simple it is. Comes in several pieces so it makes it easier to wash. So it's that simple. There's a piece in here, this little stopper that is adjustable along the length of the rod and the the reason that's there is that it stops this mixer from going above a certain distance if you don't want to be pulling air into your mixture. So for babies who are sensitive to gas, um, that's going to be helpful. And another feature on this bottle is that there are little hinges on the cap so that if you twist it in a certain um, rotation, it is going to be contained. It's not going to slide off unless you put it back, much like a medicine pill bottle. And the front part of the pitcher is completely closed off until you rotate the lid into a certain position where the opening is back open. So I find when I store it in the fridge, I can keep it airtight and then open it back up when I need to pour the formula or the mixture of his food out. So for Magnus, his ratio is almost one to one. There are graduated marks on the side of the pitcher that tell you the volume. My only complaint on this is that they are transparent, the same color as the jug. So it's a little hard to see, but I sometimes mark it off with a Sharpie just so I know where I'm pouring it. This is a package of real food blends. It's the egg meal which is super thick. So we definitely have to mix it with some liquid. I think most other tube feeders probably don't need quite as much liquid top up as Magnus does. But I will show you what a good job this formula mixing pitcher does. Doesn't look very appetizing, does it? So I'm going to snap the lid on and rotate it so that it is sealed closed. There's no opening here. Um, I wouldn't flip it over, but you can see where the stopper that I've put, it only allows me to go up so far. So I'm not bringing the spinner above the liquid line and pumping air into it. It is that simple. And then when I'm ready to pour it into his bottle to warm up for his next tube feed, I would just take it out of the fridge, twist the lid open, pour it out. It's got a very sharp spout, so no worries about spillage into the bottle. And I just keep it in the pitcher, closed off in the fridge for the day. So I've taken this out of the fridge and you can see it's a little bit separated from s sitting overnight. So I'm just going to mix it. Now I can pour it into my 8 ounce bottle, glass bottles from Advent. And I will stick it in the warmer. We like to warm Magnus's feeds beforehand. I know other folks like to serve it cold. 
here they've got these flat caps so that we can store them in the fridge without taking up as much room. And it is a 40 ounce pitcher, 1200 mils. Um, so it's a pretty reasonable size depending on how many ounces your kid takes in a feed. But I highly recommend this pitcher. My only complaint is that you cannot see the numbers for the volume easily. Other than that, I love this product and I will post links below in case anybody else would like to invest in a Dr. Brown's formula mixing pitcher. Otherwise, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us on the 2 b to go Facebook page or subscribe to our channel to see more tips, tricks, and hacks when it comes to tube feeding.